And so while I am sad and cope, trying to cope, I'll be honest, I am angry. I am angry with the world that allowed the dehumanization of Israelis and sanitized the terrorism of Hamas. I must say, I love this show and I love this network, but I've got to ask who is writing the scripts? Hamas, the people who did this, they are not fighters, Jonathan. They are not militants, and I'm looking right at the camera. They are terrorists. It is a barbarian who rapes and brutalizes women, who tear, kills children in front of their parents, and then brings them over to Gaza, who literally, we've heard all these reports, and we know these aren't just reports, these were filmed gleefully by the barbarians who committed these grotesque crimes. They filmed, for example, an elderly woman in her home in one of these towns. They burned her alive in her house because she was too infirm to take out. And, you know, parading women, bleeding from the crotch because they were raped throughout Gaza while people hoot and holler and cheer. So look, you know, when we say, oh, this was an escalation, it was bound to happen, I am sorry. This was a massacre that was pre-planned. This was not destined to happen. It is not normal to shoot teenagers in the back, hundreds of them. So I just think, like, guys, get this story right. And all these pictures of, like, you know, m missiles or the rubble in Gaza, please talk to the Israeli mothers and fathers who lost their children. Talk to the, the grandchildren whose grandparents were seized as hostages. And please stop calling this a retaliation. This is a defensive measure against an organization that is committed to one thing, killing Jews, not a peaceful resolution of a conflict, but murdering Jews. And if you're wondering if I'm exaggerating, please, I beg of you, everyone watching and everyone at this network, just watch the footage.